People always say that growing up is a part of life, but we uh, we've always seen we've always uh, seen grumpy people and soulless adults, but we never ask how these people got got the way they are today, how they uh, became the people that they are today. And since my my twelves or thirteens, I've become I've started to become self-aware of my of my grow, growing up and maturing process so much that I've uh, I've started to learn how adult life can d can defigure one's personality especially when you get engaged early and you uh, you have children at an early stage and then you have to provide for them and the main factor is even if you work with something that you love the fact of the matter is even when you work with something that you love, if you work too much, straight, if all you do is work, no fun, no fun and all work, it can make you a very dull person. And it, it will, it's something that started to, uh, to happen with me. Uh, this, uh, this whole thing started to, to defigurate or to defigure who I am because I've, uh, I've always been the, 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 the prodigy child that had multiple talents and was good at everything that, uh, that everyone threw at me. And then all of a sudden, uh, here I am. I mean, I don't play games anymore. I have a vinyl collection and a dream setup in terms of turntable to listen to, to records and I have a piano at home and I'm, although I do play a lot of the piano, I wish that I, that I was playing more games with the computer, with my, with my dream computer. I wish I was listening to more records with my dream setup. And it's like so much work because usually I leave home at 10 in the morning and I get home almost 11 in the, almost at one in the morning. Some days I do actually uh, get home only at one in the morning, so it's quite it's quite a strenuous uh, day that I that I have, and all of that working on top of a motorcycle, which I could turn a corner and hit something or fall and die. So there's a a risk and a uh, an uncertainty to that, but being self-aware of how life changes you is something that I don't know if many people have the ability to, to do, and it's something that I've been using to make other preteens aware of what uh, adult life is, is like, and what, it, and what it does to you, because you have to, uh, it's hard to uh, keep liking the same, the same stuff when all you have to do, all you have to do is work, work and work and work to provide, to pay the bills, and you live from paycheck to paycheck, even when you have two, three jobs, it's quite unnerving and it's it's tiresome it's really really tiresome so it, it starts to wear down on you like you don't have energy you don't have time for your for your for your own interests so you get used to not doing the the stuff you like so it starts to defigure you if that's the proper word to use you start to lose yourself so that's something that you gotta be aware of. And uh, I'm sure that's something that not many people have the ability to be self-aware about these these kind of things. And then they become the, uh, the dull adults and Karens of everyday life. And that's my reflection for today.